Hi guys, how are y'all? I thought tonight that we would um, fry some cabbage. And I'm going to show you how I do it. And what you're going to need is a cabbage head. And, and there's, you know, there's different sizes. And I need a big one, so uh, that's what I've got. And you're going to need uh, cooking oil and salt and pepper and a... Uh, According to your skillet, or according to your cabbage, ever how much cabbage you're going to have, you're going to need a pretty good size pot. And this is a 12 inch. This is my new um, pampered chef uh, skillet. And I've not used it yet. I'm pretty excited about that. And uh, you could slice your cabbage up any way you want to. But now, um, I'll slice mine up. Not, you know, not real thin. But it will do. I don't want it in big old chunks because it takes it a lot longer to get done. The smaller seems like that it's cut like anything else, the faster it fries. So, uh, let's get some leaves off over here. And uh, I'll show you how I cut it. Let me rinse it off right fast. And then I shall show you what I do here. Um, let me grab me a knife. I'm going to try this one right here and see. It usually does a pretty doggone good job and then you don't have to do anything special with it you just want to uh, slice it and that's what I like about this little uh, little meat knife deal and it slices thin without and you don't have to slice it no particular way you can just go right around it and uh, ever how that suits you and I'm going to get off here and slice this up guys and then I'll bring you back thank you I went ahead and brought you back. Now, I'm going to put my skillet on about medium. And you're going to need to get you uh, oil in your skillet. <coughs> and I didn't go crazy with it, but I wasn't, I was not stingy either. You can kind of see there what I've done. I probably put a quarter cup of oil in there. And then I usually roll it around my skillet a little bit up high because now that cabbage is going to touch all up there. And I'll get it in there. I don't have to wait till it gets hot or warm or nothing like that. And uh, I've got it sliced pretty thin. And then you can cut some more on it. Any way that suits you and get it in there and get it started and as it fries it shrinks down and I will add more to it I'll, I'm, I'll probably fry that whole cabbage but now I might not I don't I want it to fit in my skillet for sure but I want to have enough too for everybody to eat their fill because you can't make good old fried cabbage love love the stuff and I'm going to uh, let me find my trick here I just washed it what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tongs because I want the grease kind of on um, all of it and I just roll it around I mean it doesn't it's probably not necessary it's just something I do but we do what we do you know how that goes and uh, salt it because the salt starts pulling that moisture out and helps it start shrinking 
So, and then I am, while I'm slicing more, I'm going to put me a lid on it because that'll help it steam fry as it goes. Now, let me show you what we got here. How beautiful. Look at that. See what I was talking about? And I didn't turn it all over, but it done pretty good. And then I've got it on medium. And then I've got it, and it'll shrink down. Uh, you'd be surprised how much a, a whole cabbage head will shrink down to nothing. But uh, I'm going to let you off here, and I'm going to cut me up some more cabbage, and I'll be putting it in there. And then uh, we'll come back. Thank you. Now, I put a big bunch more of the cabbage in there, and that's probably all I'm going to put because that's a bunch, and it's plum overflowing to the top. I turned it a little bit, added a little bit more salt because I added so much more cabbage, and then I turned it down to um, one notch uh, lower than medium because I don't want it to burn. I want it to shrink some so I can, uh, then I can start frying it, you know, a little bit harder. And I want to show you guys what I'm going to do. I'm going to fry this a little bit. I'm going to cut this little pork roast up that I found. Don't you look at that. $2.26 for um, 2.285 pounds. And I'm going to cut that off the bone, and I'm going to fry it. Yep, ain't even got a smell of any kind. I'm going to cut that off the bone and fry it, and then uh, fix a little bit of bread and maybe some mashed potatoes to go with this fried cabbage, and I need to get this a going, and uh, we will more rinse this separate fast. don't normally do that, but people fuss a whole lot about it, but that's still not why I rinsed it off. I rinsed it off because uh, anything that's sitting in blood, I'm, I'm gonna, I will rinse it off. And then uh, you just want to cut against the grain, just like, you know, any other kind of meat, and I'm going to cut it. And it's got a bone in it, so I have to work around that bone, but you see, I'm cutting it thin. And just see there. And I'm going to cut probably every bit of this off there. Because there's a pretty good sized bone in there. And I'm going to get it frying and uh, with my cabbage. And we'll be back in a minute. Thank you guys. I got, hold on, got meat on my finger. Didn't want to touch my phone. <laughs> okay, guys, I got to fooling with that meat. Forgot about my cabbage. I can smell it real good. And it, it smells fantastic. It doesn't smell burnt. But uh, let's see what we got here. And it's starting to shrink down real good. And, uh, It's not burnt. Gosh, it smells good. My goodness. If you love the uh, cabbage, there is just absolutely nothing as good as fried cabbage. Now, I, I love, I love fried foods anyway. I know it ain't good for me. And, uh, I, may, I might pay attention to that someday, but I ain't paying no attention to it yet. And it's just right. I'm going to get a lid on it again. I'm going to add just a little dab more salt. I don't want to over salt it. I just want to dry that moisture out and help it shrink. And I want to show you. Now, that was a little 2.285. And you see where I've cut everything off of it. And this is actually perfect if you just wanted to throw that in a pot and cook a few little potatoes with it. You're talking about good. I do that pretty regular. Uh, 
But look here how much meat that was saved. And you see I've just cut it ever how, it doesn't matter. And I cut it all thin and uh, got some pretty daggone big pieces out of it. Like little center, pork, center cut pork chops. See? But don't you look what a pile of meat come out of that. That's a big old pile of meat, ain't it? All right, then. I am going to get me a skillet of rocking and rolling and uh, get this uh, meat on and my cabbage is still cooking. So let me wipe my fingers off and I'll be right back to cut the camera. All right. Thanks for bearing with me, guys. Hey guys, let's take us a look at this uh, cabbage. It has cooked way down. Or not, it's it's uh, shrinking gets what's done. And see that right there? You want your cabbage to scorch a little bit. It it's a hundred. It just tastes a hundred percent better. If you let us let it scorch just a dab, and uh, I don't know what my deal is with my burner. I guess that was too much down for it, so I'm gonna put it back on medium. And you see, I've got this meat frying here, and uh, I'll help it light. All right then, uh, we'll be back in a minute. Thank you. All right, let's check on this and see where we're at. Here's the cabbage I had left over. I think I didn't show you guys. I wrapped it, though. I just ain't socked it back in the refrigerator yet. Let me get this here. And let's check on it. It's frying a little bit better. It's not going crazy, but it's frying a little bit better. Yeah, it's shrunk down a ton. It's just right now. And uh, it's not done yet. It's close though. And you can see my skillet's pretty full. But it's not overly full. It's actually just right. Let me check on this meat right fast. And there's my meat. It's uh, frying just like I want it. You want to get brown on both sides. Nothing, you know. Don't burn me. But usually it's the tenders. And uh, I'll let you talk here and finish turning this meat and uh, get the lid back on my cabbage. Alrighty, I'll see you guys in a minute. Hey guys, now the cabbage is, is done. But uh, I'm going to take the lid off now because it's done the way I want it to be and set that to the side because now I want it to uh, I'll show you what got you I want it to uh, scorch a little bit now now that it's and it's starting to I don't mean burn just scorch a little and I you probably think I'm crazy but you try it and see if it don't make it even if you've been fixing fried cabbage for years, if you've never scorched it, scorch it and see the difference in it. Because that just makes, that's a, that's a must. Alright then, we'll be back in a minute. I'm working on my meat too. You can see I've got a little bit done and then I got that in the skillet. And I've got another little pile over here. Alright, be back in a minute. Hi guys, I want to show you. I've got the um, cabbage on high. Right on high, and uh, you see what I'm doing there. I'm letting it, I want it to scorch a little bit, so it's trying to stick a little dab. That's what I was telling you about. Look at that. Now, that is not burnt, that's that's what you're looking for. You're shooting for. I don't mean the whole pan of it, I just mean some of it here, yonder, and there, and it just gives it immense flavor. But now you got to watch it because it'll burn up if you don't. 
and I'm gonna let this one go maybe three four more minutes well I didn't have the camera on the I think I got my phone upside down or something anyway three four more minutes and then I'm gonna get it out all right thank you hey guys here is this cabbage and it's done and it's just right just where I wanted it just right we've got our uh, other little dishes and that's is done and let me fix us a plate and show you what we got here this cabbage it's smelling so good. Look at that. I love fried cabbage. It's, it's scorched a little. That's well on it. Then I'll get some of this meat that I've got fried here. See, just fried it good and brown. I didn't roll it in anything. It's just salt and pepper. And uh, give me a piece of the bread here. I fried it. I fried everything night, honey. It's what I basically done. Just about everything. Got some mashed potatoes. Didn't fry them. And some, some more little tomatoes that was not been ate yet. This is the end of them, though. <coughs> and here... Rolled you guys over. <laughs> I'm a learner. Here's our plate we've got put together. Here's our uh, fried cabbage, our tomatoes, mashed potatoes, a little bit of fried meat, and I fixed some fried bread. And I appreciate y'all and for putting up with me. I'm struggling a little bit, but I'm figuring it out as I go. And uh, thank you for everything you do and you say. And until next time, thank you.